Happy day, everybody. It's Miss Joy and Happiness, also known as Alina and Aaron. Um, I guess you're wondering who this little guy is. This is my, this is my, one of my best friends, little black dog. Little black dog we found about four years ago. He was a stray. So we took him in and he's been the most amazing, amazing best friend. Smart, affectionate, but that's not what this video is about. It's about me sharing another one of my tremendous finds of inspiration to you. I found this book. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I can't wait to share it with you. It's called Climb. It's by author Mark D. Sanders and Tia Sillers. So these are a few of the pages I marked that I want to read to you. It says, Climb. We're ready to introduce you to your favorite metaphor for life's challenges, mountains. Come learn what you'll need, what we all need to get over these mountains. Come see what's better left behind. Come see what these mountains are made of. Come climb. Hope says, I think you'll get over that mountain. I really think you can. Love says, honey, we'll climb that mountain together. Strength says, get in shape, get your pack ready. We are getting up at 5 a.m. and we're going to climb that mountain. We can do it. Joy says, I love to go wandering across the mountain tracks. And I love to sing. And that little devil denial says, mountain, what mountain? I don't see a mountain. So I hope this little book will inspire you as much as it has myself. Admit it. You're on the verge of being hopeless. You thought you packed enough hope, but as the days have dragged on, you've run dangerously low. And now you're afraid you'll never get there, afraid you'll never see the breathtaking view from the top. This is where your emergency supply of faith needs to kick in. Because if it doesn't, you'll never see that breathtaking view. This is where the soul goes to work at reviving the spirit. You see, faith takes over when all else fails. Somehow, faith doesn't need a shred of proof. It just believes that indeed you can do this. If hope is heart, then faith is soul. Beckoning, challenging, calling your name. Lie back with your hands stretched out behind your head. Watch the wind push the clouds across the sky. Let yourself believe you're on top of the world. Because in a sense you are. Just be for now. Who cares if it sounds so new agey? It's true. Then when you're ready, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, put your pack on, and start climbing down the other side. One foot in front of the other, that's all you can do. This walk never ends, you know. You're always in uncharted territory. There's always another mountain, but that's what makes life thrilling and you breathless. There will be days, there will be times when you feel like you've climbed so far, when that voice inside you is complaining that is, it's been uphill for too long, that this journey is way too hard, that despite all your careful planning and packing, Maybe you just don't have what it takes. And then to top off all the doubt, you'll happen to take your eyes off the trail for a moment. Look out of the horizon and, and smile. And there it is, the biggest mountain you've ever seen. You'll feel a lump build in your throat, your heart stop, your feet freeze, you'll close your eyes, you'll swallow. Count to ten, say the serenity prayer, open your eyes, and it'll still be there. The biggest mountain you've ever seen. You'll swallow again, 
laugh, shake your head, and think, there's absolutely no way I can climb it. I hope with all my might that you will always have somebody who has faith enough to tell you that you can. It's strange how we memorize the table of elements on a line from Shakespeare, but we're all the time forgetting how we need to love and trust and believe. It's re ironic that we have no trouble keeping time on what time our favorite TV show comes on. But we need help remembering that all we need to do is just trust and believe that we can climb that mountain. Next time you're staring at your mountain and you find yourself at a total loss about what to do next, remember this. What hope says, what love says, what strength says, what tenderness says, and what faith says, I believe I can climb this mountain, and I believe you can too. I've climbed many mountains in my life. And I don't own a backpack <laughs> or any mountain climbing gear. But I've climbed those mountains. I have incredible stories. And I've shown myself that I, too, have incredible strength. And I do have that I can do spirit attitude of demolishing those mountains, making them molehills, and coming out ahead on the other side. Another page I like, there are mountains. Many of life's challenges are actually rewarding, invigorating, life-affirming. It feels wonderful to finally shed those 87 pounds. It feels exciting to graduate from high school or college or to start a new job. It feels freeing to get a clean bill of health or pay off your credit card debt. Many challenges are like a 10K run. You get to cross the finish line with your arms up in the air. Many accomplishments earn, and I'm so proud of you, where you did it. And then there are the mountains. Unfathomable heartache, like losing someone you love, or a powerful blow to your chest where you feel like you'll never breathe again because the pain is so dev devastating. Some people never move beyond the moment when their world was shattered. I too have had some of those shattering moments, but I did, with God's help, family, friends, and even the kindness of strangers, I overcame them. And I can say, I'm so glad I did because there was more joy waiting for me on the other side of that mountain. So hang in there. You will climb that mountain. You may do it quicker than someone else, or it may take you a little longer. But take a deep breath and know you can do it. And the last page I want to share with you. But the past is not yours to change. Change only happens by moving forward. And moving forward takes faith. Faith lifts you up in its arm. Faith carries you over the mountains that no one should have to climb. Faith finds rhyme and a reason where before there were none. Faith comes to peace with mortality. Faith sees the bigger picture, a pleasing view of the earth, a promising view of the heavens. Faith lets you believe that what you lost is still a part of you and that you are still a part of what you lost. Faith makes a fantastic friend, a real soulmate. Faith gives you the willpower to turn your back on regret. So, please climb with faith, or better, yet dance with faith. Dance with faith all the way to the top of, in, of your insurmountable mountain. So on that note, Get climbing. <laughs>
with love and joy and gratitude. I wish you a mountain defeating moment. And if you need help with life, wellness, or healing, pick up the phone, email me. I would love to help you through my Miracle Life Coaching at www.alinanaren.com. So on that note, as always, happy day. <laughs>